What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Last episode, we finished up with Jellyfish Field. Jellyfish Field for now, at least for now. As you see, we're still missing two socks. We can't get those till later on in the game. We get one of them a bit later, not too much longer. The other one we can't get till pretty far in the game, though. Uh, this episode, we're gonna be taking on the next level, which is Downtown Bikini Bottom. If you were to notice when I go to the pause screen, you probably would have seen this level and the next two levels, I believe, kind of given away. But, you know, it, it's just little hints for downtown you, I suppose. Downtown Bikini Bottom. Downtown Once Bikini Bottom. a bustling bottom. metropolis. Now, a debris-covered crater. Yep. Whoa, what the heck happened there? Freaking missile. God dang it. I'm Trump, glad they're not using the me. Are they're hitting me with those. Yeah, I noticed. All right, but it's gonna take a while to get all this dust. What's not with all that? Queue. What's with that golden thing? You <laughs> wait. What? To safety. I never understood that joke. Vacuum and evacuate sound nothing like each other. Eva evacuum, evacuates. I don't know. Can we just load them it. up in the boats? That won't do any good. I thought I was about to say boxes for a Why second. Not? Because the robots have taken all the steering. All wheels. those fiends! Wouldn't How dare they? Drive in a straight line? Yeah. No, there are too many turns. <laughs> those fiends! Uh, they thought of everything. Hey, I said fiends. Hop, I'll get those steering wheels back. Freaking reading my mind, or maybe I'm sub subconsciously remembering what happens as part of the game. Fear. But I tell you what, if you can pull this off, I'll give you a golden spatula. Woo! A lot of driver's license instead. <gasps> yeah, that'd be pretty nice. nice. Try. Well, it was worth Without a try. Steering wheels, we okay, so as you see, we need 11 of them. I had no idea you need so many. I thought it was going to be like 4 or something. Yeah, sponge ball. Okay, yep. So that's sponge ball over there. And we'll get to that in moments. Here's the first steering wheel right over here. Okay, so a lot of these paths lead up into each other. Uh, that's closed off, as you can see. Yeah, this arrow points me to go this way. It's a very obvious hint. Nope, these don't give me a cutscene. So these are called something stinker or something like that. As you see, they emit a gas, and that's pretty much the only way of attack. I'm just gonna take care of those. Bam! You're welcome, asshole. Asshole McGee. Okay, well, let's follow the arrow and see where it takes us. Oh, there's a freaking star chip over there. Star bit. Shiny object. So if you do that, and we turn to SpongeBob! There we go. And as you see... Oh. Hello. He has little eyeballs on him. Whoa. Hello again. Uh-oh. What's gonna happen? What do these guys do? They have a lot of hands. That looks pretty handy. <laughs> what? Oh! How dare... <laughs> Oh, I was gonna say, good thing for a random anvil, but now it is all Gary, freaking strong guy. This is called a G Love. Best way to deal with him is the bubble bounce him from above. I get it, G Love glove. Haha, <laughs> that's silly. Alright. So, yeah, as you saw, the gate was on a timer here. If we would have gotten through the gate uh, before the timer ran out, we would have it would have closed on me, and the only way to keep the gate open is if you beat the timer, which is weird. We're in SpongeBob, we can't do anything besides roll, and it kinda sucks. We can't even jump or anything. The way to go, SpongeBob. Normally, press any button. Um, yeah, best way to fight these guys is stomp them from above. Anything else will pretty much get you hurt. At least with SpongeBob. Um, yeah, that guy's really happy. I just helped him out. You're welcome, bro. Always helping the bros out, you know, yo, bro. Okay, and you really gotta pay attention to the steering wheels. So if we jump up here, and if you remember, there's a steering wheel right over here. So we're gonna come over here and get. Oh, and see, another way you could have gotten is by remembering which building it is and falling down from up top of the building. Okay, so there we go. We got that second steering wheel. The sock up there. Oh, there's no way to get that for quite a while. Unfortunately, we will be getting in this level. I think this level we don't have to worry about like leaving. I think we get 100% this level like this round, and we don't have to go back on like jellyfish fields. All right. Um, yeah, looks like this is well. Oh. There's so many branching paths in this. is insane. Uh, can we do anything with this? Where does this lead me? Does this just give me that? Yeah, it appears so. Okay, well, as we're taking a look at it, that. All right. Well, actually, let's take a look at what we can do before unlocking that gate. Just because I know I'm gonna get overwhelmed really quickly if I don't like examine everything before moving on. 
Oh, see, there's not a steering wheel over here. There we go. Yeah, three years running. Congratulations, SpongeBob. That is an accomplishment. This is a scavenger hunt. And if you see these Thunder Tiki's, you blow them up. They actually do blow up the gates, which is fantastic and quite a big help in some portions of the game. Hmm. Actually, kind of think about. I wonder if not the first move we get from the first boss, but the move we get after that, the cruise bubble. I wonder if you can use that to open those doors as well. I don't really know. If anyone's played this game, let's write down in the comments down below. And see, there's Mrs. Puff over there. So we've already made a shortcut back to where we were before. And I almost feel like going back that way and seeing if we could do anything over there. Since I believe that does lead to a dead end. You know what? Let's do that. So I'm pretty sure it leads to a dead end over here. Uh, I almost feel like the SpongeBob will be faster right over there. <laughs> but maybe not. Alright. Might as well collect this while we're over here. Yeah, that was totally not worth it running all this way for that. See, this is a dead end. However, there's this asshole shooting freaking sinks at us. What? Of all things that shooting sinks at me. Well, okay then. That's kind of weird, but alright. I won't complain. If we actually come over here, there's a tartar sauce minion. Ah, yep, you can leave me alone. Oh, oh, I did collect- okay, there's a sock in here. I guess I didn't see it though, I didn't think I would collect it, but I guess I did. Might have hit a row button too. I think if you hit a row button to something, it collects it for you. Or something like that. Alright, this is one of, one of the more difficult things to accomplish, accomplish in this game. What you're trying to do here is jump so the thing aims for this. And then if you do it successfully... If you do it successfully... Pausing a bit, no. Oh, there we go. If you do it successfully, manage to hit that. There's an easier way to do this if you upgrade. If you come back here later, but I'm gonna try and do this. Oh, see, I managed to hit one of them. I think did it. I thought I did. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, and see now that that's hitting me as well. You gotta be very careful. It's, it is pretty easy to die here if you're not paying attention. Come on. You almost gotta aim yourself farther away, I think. Yeah. See, let's, aim, let's go over here more. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's working better in my favor. Might as well hit this while we're here. Alright, there we go. Why not? Might as well blow this up while we're here as well. And blow it all up. <laughs> okay, let's try standing farther away so it lines up more. Is that gonna be good? Yes, it is. Okay, perfect. Now we hit this. Aha! Gigantic anvil that Gary didn't throw this time. Or maybe he did from super far away. Maybe the buttons alerted Gary. And then some spawns on top of this gigantic statue of whoever the heck this is. The founder of Springfield? It's so odd to say, but no, it was probably the founder of Bikini Bottom. Founder of Springfield. I'm thinking of The Simpsons. Mm. Which is weird because, I mean, I haven't watched The Simpsons very much for like a long time. Like, maybe like 10 years. That I have that I have uh, that I haven't watched it like seriously. I mean, I'll see the occasional episode, but I don't watch it like I used to. Mm. All right, let's go this way. It's weird because I was watching The Simpsons with my dad at like age two. <laughs> it's like that's not really an appropriate show for a two-year-old, but I did it, and it was fantastic actually. Okay, so I'm actually glad to go over here and check it. That is dead end. I was also glad I was able to do that without too much trouble. Like I said, I have died to that a few more than a few times actually. Um, is that it? Yes, okay, I think we have conquered this area. Yes, we have. Alright, now I can move on. So I find that's the best way of going about doing this, is conquering areas one at a time, and then, like, waiting to move on until you do that. Because otherwise, you just get really overwhelmed really quickly. This is where things get difficult because of the freaking ketchup sauce. Actually, has that been- yeah, okay. If you look at these bottles, actually, I think it's like hot sauce. Explosion sauce or something like that. That wasn't one of the episodes. Alright. This one freaking bit of sauce right here. Ugh. Oh, actually, that was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. I have five seconds to spare. Alrighty then. Alright, blow that up. There we go. Well, I guess that would have been another way to go there. Oh. More freaking sinks. Great. Um, is there anything? No, I just don't think there's anything I really want up there. Anything back here? 
doesn't appear to be. What about over here? Oh, there's a star chip over here. Seriously, I'm gonna get used to calling these shiny objects. I'm sure I will eventually. Alright. Um, saw some over here. Did that open anything for me? No, it did not. Oh god. Oh, what? I touched it after it stopped rolling. I was only rolling slowly and it still hurt me, of course. I should have thought. I should have thought like the creators of this game. Yeah. There are some s shiny objects down there. I really got. It's because they're so close. Shiny object and star base. They both start with that shh sound. So it's like you really. It pretty much makes you think that that is what they were going for. Well, it is obviously what they're going for. Although this game came out far before star chips and star bits and all that. But I mean, it has like a pretty much super similar process to it, or progress, or whatever. Man, my words are terrible today. Well, they haven't recently. I don't know why. I've noticed that though. You know, I want this. I've, been, I've noticed that lately. Whenever I go to like Let's Play, my words will be all scrambled up, and I'll mix up words, and I'll just be like, Ugh. Let's Playing is supposed to make you better at speaking, not worse. Okay, we gotta line myself up a bit better than that. Best way to do this, I'd say for sure, is to go in a straight line, because otherwise it just messes up. Ah, Alright. And do you want to despongify yourself? There's a steering wheel up there, but we will get to that momentarily. There's nothing that way, so the only way to go is this way! And yeah, you won't make it if you stay in the ball. You do have to, like, unball yourself. By the way, I didn't even mention, I think that, I'm pretty sure that boat actually, like, smashed in there when we hit that button, which, which was pretty cool, but I didn't even mention it. You know what? You sir need to stop. You just threw a chair at me too. What an asshole. Who's doing this? Get out. Get out of here. Get out. I said get out of here. There we go. Now blow yourself up. Or don't do anything at all. That's that's fine too, I guess. Alright. Clear this area. I really like the feeling of like clearing an area in a game. Like completely destroying all the enemies in it and getting every like bit of spoils I can, even if they are kind of pointless. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I took the damage, but it was kind of worth it, and that actually opened up the shortcut to this area. See what I mean, though? Let's get- Oh. Right. Okay, this is pretty difficult to do, if I recall. you got to be very- yeah. Oh. Okay. See, if you fall off there, you won't be able to- Oh, you know, we can't even do this anyways yet. There's a sock over there. But I don't- No, I don't, there's no way to get that as of yet. Later on, we did see Spongebob fly before at the beginning, or where, when we went to fight the King Jellyfish. I didn't notice it, but I didn't make note of it. He like floated up the ledge instead of like uh, pulling himself up there. It wasn't a graphical glitch, he just like fluttered his fingers and he like flew up somehow. It was magic, I know. Alright. So, okay, we, there's nothing over here, it seems. Besides that, we'll grab it, just so I know I've been here. Anything over here? Not really. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, I definitely feel like... I feel like I've definitely gone through everything, and it makes me feel a lot more confident that I'm not completely failing at everything. When I actually check everything. From the inside. Who would do such a thing? Um... Well, probably a lot of people when there's a robot apocalypse. Did you just refresh my health? I swear I need that underwear two seconds ago. Well, anyways. Alrighty then. There is a sock somewhere here. I know there is. In the video I just watched, the guy just went on that second platform and it was just there. So it's like, uh, I don't remember that being like that. But I don't see it, so... Oh, is it? oh that's it right there. Oh, okay, I see. Ah, this is just difficult times because like, oh my god, it's slippery for some reason. I don't really know why. Yeah, these have ice physics. Like, not only ice physics, but extreme ice physics to the max. Okay, that was a pretty easy song. Oh! Although you can apparently get that as well. Yeah, Launch myself! Nope, not gonna happen. <laughs> Where does this go again? Oh, nowhere. Aha! What's this I spot? Oh, well, I tried. <laughs> uh, I think either way, we'll be going to that building, so I don't think that's important to you. Uh, or is it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we'll be on top of that building soon enough. So, don't fret my little pretties. <laughs> Whenever someone says my little pretties, I just picture witches. 
Cause like, <laughs> witches are just who you pretty much expect to say my little pretties. Eh. Alright, can we jump up here actually? That'd be fantastic, but it's not looking like we can. Great. Fantastic. Oh, well, there are little platforms there, so I'm assuming we will be there soon, maybe-ish. Just like that sock and jellyfish fields where it's like the tree beside it, man. Looks like you'll be able to get to it, but you can't. And see, this is my qualm with this game, because now we've cleared pretty much everything up to this point. But here's a clam shell. So we're gonna feed him the clams. And then we're gonna go through this area, and then when we come back, since this does eventually ultimately lead to a dead end, we have to come back. Uh, the sea needle. But when we come back, everything will be respawned, and those guys respawn because there's duplication 1000 over there. But anyways, I'm going to have the episode here, guys. Next episode, we will go and explore the sea needle. If you enjoyed, please feel leave likes for her already. My name's Chris, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.